Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Greg and welcome back to the channel. So the question I always get asked is what type of oil or wood varnish I'm using for my wooden projects. And believe me, with 13 years of woodworking experience, I have tried, tested and experimented with hundreds of different types of oils and wooden varnishes. And in this video, we are not going to point out all the bad brands. I am simply going to explain to you the journey I'm currently on, the wooden oils I'm using, why I'm using it and how I'm using it. And remember, this is only going to be my opinion. Your opinion can definitely be different from mine. So to answer your question, what type of oil I'm using for all my wooden projects? It's called Rubio Monocoat. Before we even continue this video, this video is not sponsored by Rubio Monocoat. I am simply using this product out of my free will. Rubio Monocoat is a Belgium based company. It's a very expensive oil and for a specific reason. That's why you need to make sure you make use of every single drop of oil. Rubio Monocoat comes in a 1.3 liter tin, a part A and a part B. Part A is your linseed oil and part B is your accelerator. And your mixing ratio is 1 to 3. So out of this 1.3 liter tin, you can get roughly about 50 square meters of coverage. This is one of the reasons why I'm buying this product. To make sure you're not having any wastage on your oil, I'm using a syringe and mix only a little bit at a time. Now, just like any other brand of oil, Rubio Monocoat comes in different shapes and sizes and they have got a ton of colors to pick and choose from. Now, as you can see in this video, my client specifically requested that the table we're building for him needs to be in a darker color. That's why I'm mixing Rubio Monocoat Pure with 25% charcoal and 25% black. So when you are applying Rubio Monocoat to your workpiece, you need to apply the oil in a circular motion. Don't worry too much about the excess oil that's left on the table. The wood is only going to take the amount of oil it needs and then the excess you need to wipe off. So the next main reason why I'm using this product, and this was basically the selling point for me, is when you apply Rubio Monocoat to your workpiece, you only have to apply one coat. Now remember, you get 50 square meters out of one tin, and you only have to apply one coat of Rubio Monocoat to your workpiece. And the next main reason why I'm using this product is after you apply the oil to your workpiece and it's ready to be wiped off, the oil is not making any lines at all. Many of my previous varnishes and oils are used. Once the varnish and oil is starting to dry, you can clearly see all the lines on your workpiece. And if you are building some exclusive furniture for your clients, this is something you don't want. And speaking out of experience, if you're building something special and unique for someone, you honestly want to use the best product on the market because that's what they're paying for. So after you applied Rubio Monocoat oil to your workpiece, you need to wait roughly about 10 minutes before you start wiping all the excess oil off. And this is the moment you're starting to see the grain pop out of your wood. Now the next reason was a major, major selling point for me. I'm not sure if this applies to all the countries, but the country I'm from, Rubio Monocoat, provides an after service. So once you are using their product and you deliver a specific product to one of your clients, you can set up a meeting with Rubio Monocoat. They come out to your client's house, they give your client proper training on all their aftercare products, how to look after your product and how to maintain it in the long term. So I honestly hope that this video is going to help you to pick the right oil for your wooden projects. Now I'm going to leave you with some of the products I delivered to our clients. Thanks guys, cheers for now.